but I don't think this is done that well. Our next movie is called Sunset Park. It's a formula picture, to be sure, a sports film about misfits who pull together for the big game, except that this one, I think, works because of a bright screenplay that manages to break out of the formula at just the right places. Rhea Perlman stars as a committed inner-city school teacher who takes an extra job as the boys' basketball coach to pick up an extra few bucks, and she's the first one to admit she doesn't know a thing about coaching basketball. Do you want us to break in shirts and skins and scrimmage? Right. Break into shirts and skins and scrimmage. I ain't playing for no lady coach, B. What, the starters against the scrubs? Exactly. In most formula sports pictures, virtually all of the kids are totally incompetent athletes, but not in Sunset Park. Some of the young men at the school are truly talented. They just need motivation. But you guys got some homework to do. Homework? Come on, this is basketball. Ain't no homework in basketball. Yeah, well, before the next game, you are all responsible to bring in a quote about what it takes to make a winner. Whoever doesn't, doesn't play. The leading character on the student team is played by Fred Rowe Starr, and he has plenty of charisma. This is Mr. Dunbar, right? Jamaican guy, goes to work every day for the transit. Then there's Mr. Collins. He drinks liquor all day and never had a job in his life. They both live in the same projects. They both live the same life. Makes you think, why even work? Another formula element is that the team members are ethnically diverse. Well, not in this picture. Here, they're exclusively inner-city blacks, but their characters have been clearly and memorably drawn. And there are plenty of dramas away from the basketball court, and they're also not predictable, except maybe for the one student who needs some heavy-duty tutoring. I really like Sunset Park. It introduces a whole lot of new talent, and Rhea Perlman's work is a revelation. She makes the leap here from TV to movies. Sunset Park definitely thumbs up for me. Well, I had a lot of affection for the film and for her performance, even but I can't both thumbs up. Wow. I feel that it's really not very well directed and not very well written in terms of trying to move in a way that carries us along with it. It keeps coming to a halt or going off on little sidetracks. But Rhea Perlman's character and the way that she plays it, those are the really good things. Well, what the about this? You know what I'm talking about, the formula sports movie? And mm -hmm. this film breaks it down. Somebody is writing there and knows where it should go, and they say, no, we're not going to take that path. We're going to write a little. And how about this Fred Rose stuff? Wasn't he interesting to and you? He had a screen presence. I would yes, look at this and I would say it's a screen test for a better movie, but I don't think this movie really delivers on the level that you say. Well, the kind of pictures, you know, uh, these Blackboard the, Jungle it, pictures, these sports pictures. It doesn't measure pictures. up with Hoosiers. It doesn't measure up with Hoop Dreams. I mean, well, if you want to see dreams. movies hoop about... Hoop Dreams is greatness, okay? And Hoosiers is too. It was on your list of the best No, films. no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Not Hoosiers. Should have been then. Not Hoosiers. Okay. Okay, when we come back...